On Saturday, something very special opens to the public in Houston. The Museum of Fine Arts is unveiling the final piece of an expansion project that cost nearly a half billion dollars. Matt Doherty takes us on a tour. After years of construction and almost a decade of fundraising, the transformation of the Museum of Fine Arts Houston is finally complete. We have about 8,000 works on paper. The last piece of the puzzle, the Nancy and Richard Kinder Building, opens to the public on Saturday. Works by Matisse and Picasso. And the massive addition features three floors of galleries circling a three-story atrium a 200-seat theater, and a restaurant overlooking the sculpture garden. The building is connected to the rest of the museum campus across the street by underground tunnels. I'm in the McNair Education Court, where each year 50,000 students will alight from their yellow school buses, descend this magnificent stair, and enter this extraordinary tunnel. And when we emerge on the other side, it will be like that scene in The Wizard of Oz. The expansion took $470 million to build. The most important and comprehensive collection of Latin American modernism north of the equator. Nearly a quarter of the artwork in the Kinder Building is created by Latin American and Latino artists. Here's one of them, Lote Bravo. It's composed of 400 adobe bricks. The bricks are made out of soil from a site in Juarez, Mexico, where the bodies of murdered women were found. And in this gallery, we show a high point of modernism. With plenty of space and works that encourage the imagination, the addition is a visual example of our ever-changing world for all to see. And to signal our mission to bring works of art to the community. Matt Doherty, KGU 11 News.